If you want to resize a video into a vertical frame so that you can share it on TikTok or on YouTube Shorts, in this video we are going to do that with iMovie. But before we start, there are some AI tools which does exactly the same job for you. They not only convert long-form content into multiple short-form videos, but they also put subtitles and captions automatically. Using these AI tools can be really time-saving. I'll put a video link at the end of this video if you need more information. Okay, so first up we have iMovie, a video editing tool for Mac users. So let's resize this video to a vertical video using iMovie. Drag it to your timeline. After your video is in the timeline, select the crop option. Now here, firstly, we need to rotate the video with one of these buttons here to the left or to the right side. To convert this video as a short video, you need to do two things. The first one is your video duration should be maximum 60 seconds long, otherwise you cannot upload it as a short video. And the aspect ratio should be 9 to 16. Currently it is 16 to 9 as a standard video. Even if I have flipped the video here, we are not currently done yet. After you flip this video, you can either select your crop to fill option. Then you can pick here the most important part of the video and put it inside this white rectangle box. Okay, so let's say that I pick directly the middle of the video. Now if I play it again, we can see the car in a much larger scale. But the issue here is that I'm not able to see the whole video, so maybe we can do some little arrangements. If you select the cameras option, then you can start the video somewhere, let's say somewhere here, and you can end it somewhere here. If you choose this method and play it again. Now, if you look carefully, after I start playing the video, the video also started to move from top to down rather than staying on a fixed location so we will be able to see a much dynamic video like this. After you are finished, now you need to export the video like you are exporting any regular videos here. You can pick here the resolution, the quality and let's export it. Okay, now we have exported the video and the next thing we need to do is to rotate the video one more time. If you are on QuickTime Player, click on Edit and select rotate and now the video is rotated on the correct position now you need to save it so now we have here a vertical video let's do one more check to be sure everything is fine with your right mouse button click on the video and select get info here just make sure that the duration and the dimensions are correct so you won't have any issues with uploading the video if you found this video helpful, please don't forget to hit the like button and see you guys in the next video.